In the last video, I showed you how you can make this looping plane that works for looping textures in GLTF. Now I will show you how you can use that same setup to loop displacement onto that plane. Keep in mind that the displacement texture itself has to be looping. So in the geometry node setup that we created in the last video, after the set position node, create a new set position node that we will use for displacement. Now add the named attribute node set to UV map and make sure your UV map goes from boundary to boundary. And you can use a looping texture like this one from cc0textures.com. Use vector math multiply with the X and Y set to 0 to affect only the Z axis and use it in the offset of the set position node. You will probably need more subdivisions for it to work. We can also disable displacement from the end with setup like this. You can also use Blender's procedural textures with some modifications to make them looping. Like this setup for wave texture or this setup for a noise texture. And as you can see these setups don't rely on the UV map so you can use it even if the UV map doesn't go from boundary to boundary. But if your UVs do, like in this plane, then you don't need the looping plane setup from the last video. You can just use the UV map as the coordinate system and move it on the X axis. And as you can see, when I set the X value to 0 or 1, it's the same texture. And now you can just export this animation to GLTF or GLB like it should before in that video.